Time now for our Zeo connection. Talia von Olhoffen joins us. 31 points, including 17 in the fourth quarter, seven rebounds, new career high in each category. And Talia, you put this team on your shoulders in the fourth quarter. What's it mean to you to get this win over USC? It was a really good win. Um, we fought it out to the end. We weren't playing how we wanted to the first three quarters, but um, I was really proud of how we fought back in the fourth quarter and showed a lot of heart. Um, and we just continue to get better every game. So this was a really good win for us. You had a really great quick start and then a really quiet second quarter. What were your mindset going into this second half? You know, did you say, I got to get myself going early in that third quarter? Thoughts from that? Yeah, I've been trying to be more consistent with my game. Um, got to get those lulls out of it. So um, I knew I didn't do what I could have in the second quarter. So I definitely came out of halftime, you know, hungry. Um, we've been trying to pick our pace up. We've been playing a little slow. So that's just what I tried to do. Um, tried to push the ball and it just opened up a lot of things for us. Um, and we started knocking shots down in the second half. So I'm just really proud of how we played. Last couple of games, you'd struggled shooting. Are you able to completely put that out of your mind when you head to the next game? Yeah, I mean, I come into the, every game with the same mindset, no matter how I shot last game. Um, yeah, I definitely struggled from the field, um, but you have to have a short memory, so I totally forgot about that. Just focus on this one, one shot at a time. Um, and I know I'm a shooter, no matter how bad I'm shooting, so just keeping that same mentality. Um, and my teammates definitely give me confidence to shoot, um, always hyping me up, even if I'm missing, so um, a lot of that goes to them. And I know you'd covered this last year, but you joined Oregon State midway through last season, what was supposed to be a senior year of high school for you. How difficult was it to make that adjustment to college, not just the basketball, to, be, to being a college student right away? Yeah, it was definitely tough. Um, it was a weird time. No one really knew what was going to happen. Um, a lot of uncertainty because no one had ever done that before. But I had a lot of support from my teammates and just everyone in the program that made the adjustment a lot easier, for sure. Um, and just having Aaliyah, she was kind of my mentor through the whole process um, and really helped me and got me ready uh, to come in this year and be a leader. Talking about Aaliyah Goodman, who is now graduating, working with the program at Duke. And uh, Talia, your family was here. They make the trip. It takes a long time. It's probably about a six-hour drive from Pasco in southeast Washington to get here. Maybe a little less than that. Yeah. What's, it, what's it like for you to have a game like this with your family watching? Yeah, it's really special. They try to be at every home game, um, and that means a lot to me. One of the reasons I came here. Um, yeah, it was, it's everything to have them here, and I love them so much, and I know they were really excited about this one. Um, so, yeah, I'm just happy we could get a win um, and pull this one out. Congratulations. Good game. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it.